What on earth is that? Coriander and tamarind sauce. Is that potatoes? It's the number one street food in India. Stay tuned. Sizzle and smoke. It's delicious. Sizzle and smokers, fun one for you today, Vada Pav. Have you ever heard of that? If you're in Canada, you're like, no, Vada Pav, never heard of it. If you're in India, you're like, oh, what are you talking about? Of course, everybody knows Vada Pav. It's the uh, most popular street food in many parts of India. And what is it? It's deep fried potatoes in a bun. So I know that sounds, if you're in Canada or America, you're like, wow, what are you, double carbs? Like, what are you talking about here? It's delicious. Vada Pav, Canadian style. If you're in India, like, hey, I'm going to be using the coriander chutney. I'm going to be using the tamarind. But I'm also going to be using some other secret ingredients. What are they? Stay tuned. Vada Pav. So here we have our uh, mashed potatoes with just some salt and pepper and we have a couple cloves of garlic cut up and use any kind of chili you have like I want anybody in the world to be able to make this I had jalapenos if you have Anaheim chilies any kind of green chilies like you can even use red chilies I don't see why not put that into the mix Now, my friends in India, here's where you're going to get mad at me, but I'm telling you, you've got to do this. Canadian cheddar cheese. It's shredded triple cheddar cheese. I am mixing that in there. I know if you're in India, you're like, no, 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 no. Coriander. That kind of stuff. This is Canadian style. We want uh, you to try this and you're gonna love it. Put in some cheddar cheese. Maybe somebody over there has done it before. I'm sure they have. But I love, I love the look of it. That looks awesome already. I'm gonna hit it with a bit of salt. So everybody's got this. Everybody's got chilies, mashed potatoes. Get the pepper on it. Now we're cooking at high, cooking with high octane here. Now what we need to do is make a batter for it, because you're going to make it into balls, dip it in the batter, put it in the deep fryer or in a frying pan, mostly a frying pan. But I happen to have a deep fryer going, so let's make our quick batter. So easy. Golden tempa, add a flour. You can use any kind of flour, but I thought we would stick with it while we are in India. Plus the more traditional we are, right? I mean, the less they can get mad at me for. So that was a third of a cup. I find a good batter usually takes a cup and a third. Oh yeah. That's thick. We're going to add some water to that. When you're making these batters, you never know, right? Depends on so many things. Now, there's no flavor in that batter. I, I personally want some flavor, so we're going to go with this coriander sauce. It's a chutney sauce. 
Mmm. Oh, that smells good. So here's the trick. Coriander chutney sauce into your batter. And really what makes this traditional, it's served on a bun, is on one side of the bun you have the cor uh, coriander sauce, the chutney, and on the other side you have the tamarind sauce. So it's kind of like a double chutney, one sweet, one spicy, fried potato in the middle. How can we go wrong on this? Now, grab your potato, dip it in the batter, put it on the plate. I'm going to make about 10 of these. Yeah, I'm going to make about 10. Then we're going to hit the deep fryer. And let's see what uh, the Canadian version of Vada tastes like. Let's hope it's good. Let's put our Vada. That's a sizzler. You know, one tip I ended up doing was I actually brushed the batter on top of the uh, potato patty. Instead of just dipping the whole thing and coating it, losing form, I just brushed it on nicely. There we go. Got our beautiful, probably not getting a cheese bun on the street, but perfectly nice and light, I thought, with this. And we're going to hit it with our tamarind sauce on the bottom side. Let that soak into the bread. So it's a tamarind chutney sauce. It's not, I didn't make my own chutneys. Uh, you know, I should make a coriander chutney, be nice. But you know, hitting that on each side of the bun, pretty cool. All right, just gotta sit back in beautiful uh, Canada and uh, wait for our street food classic from India. And a lot of people from India have moved to Canada in the last couple years. So Indian food is really starting to uh, show up in culture and it's on every street corner has an Indian restaurant now. So it's definitely something everyone in Canada has to get used to on their, their palates and it's great food, amazing food. So if you haven't tried it, go to an Indian restaurant, you will love it. And there's many in this city. Super cool. Ooh. Super, super hot though. All right, sizzle and smoke close up cam. Look at that. So the side is just the potato and the batter is only on the top. Very cool. Tamarind sauce. Canadian. Now let's see if uh, how that cheese tastes on the inside. Uh, I've never had anything like that. That is so unique. See the potato busting out of the middle? The combination of the chutney, the different chutneys, the tamarind and the uh, coriander with the crispiness. Oh yeah, this should be on a street cart in Canada because this is very unique. And my choice of these cheesy buns, great.
I can't really taste the cheese on the inside. So maybe maybe you don't need it. The potato kind of takes over for it. I could eat this and be ready for a hard day's work. This is uh This is good good food. And the jalapenos really work the peppers. Well, that sauce is great. Coriander sauce and tamarind sauce. Amazing. Now I see why everybody in India knows about this dish. Send this to your friends. Send it to your relatives. Let people in Canada, around the world know. Indian street food. It is good stuff.